Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Josh Stripe Hayes. This is my continued playthrough of Command and Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. This is the GDI mission Rome. God, I hope for all our sakes this is the last mission. All right, here's what we know. The invader's tower is located outside of what used to be Rome. As of this briefing, it's almost complete. What's worse is the invaders also appear to be building what seems to be a super weapon nearby. But you can't worry about that. Just focus on the tower. It's protected by some sort of phasing technology. Our best guess is that destroying all three phase generators will drop the protective field around the tower. After those generators are down, the tower should be vulnerable to an ion cannon strike. Best of luck, Commander. Destroy the three protecty bits and then blow the tower up. Let's give it a go. It's time to take the fight into the red zones and destroy the giant towers under construction by the invaders. Central Command isn't keen on waiting around to find out what those things are actually going to be used for. The answer is sure to be one that we won't like. You're the test case. You're going to take down the tower near Rome. You will be deployed into the Italian red zone and set up shop behind a large Tiberium chasm that is not connected to the main landmass. While this provides a natural defense, you'll have to utilize jump jets, call for transport, and aerial units to move across the chasm and create expansion bases. Scanners indicate several spatial anomalies in the area, and alien entities are flooding into the region at an alarming rate. To make things worse, Nod has set up camp in the northwest. Given Nod's erratic behavior since the arrival of the invaders, you should be prepared for anything. The situation is crazy, and getting more so by the minute. Okay, so I've pretty much got one little base here with a Tiberium ring. Commander, it appears we can't destroy the tower until those phase generators are down. Eliminate all those structures, then blow that tower to hell with the ion cannon. Incoming transmission. The alien tower is protected by a series Destroy the three phase generators in order to effectively weaken the enemy base. Okay. Oh my god, wow! That thing's massive! Let's go and have a look at that, that's huge! Wow, that is amazing. That is so cool. Okay, so three phase generators and me with my base over here. Now I'm hoping, I've got a lot of zone troopers. Ah, it's because they've all got jump jets. Okay. Now I'm hoping to just pretty much zone trooper through this. Not too bothered about anything else. Oh, hello. Tell my zone troopers to attack move over here. They can take care. Oh, that's Nod. Okay. Hello, Nod. Can these zone troopers please do something? So, my war factory, first thing I want you to make is another harvester. We'll stick at least some defenses down. If the enemy decides to jump over and attack us from here, annoyingly, you can't repair units. Let's repair that straight away. Oh, I see there are some tanks over there, rather. Okay. Well, that's going to be irritating. I could always make a juggernaut and just bombard them from where I am. It seems easier. Now when I stick down my command post, my defences are unfortunately going to go down. Not too bothered about the tanks I can see over there. Nod. Nod's probably up here doing their own Nod based thing. Destroy the alien masterminds teleporting the forces. Is that my... Ah, oh, that must be that thing just there. Okay. Ah, so they're teleporting the forces into my base. Gotcha, that makes more sense. What am I going to need? A rig would be nice, and some APCs, but I'm not really 
jumping over anything just yet. Keep my defences up and I should be okay. Enemy base. Oh, I see. There's a base over there, is there? Alright. Uh, a tech centre and then some juggernauts. And I can use the juggernauts to bombard those guys from here. Ah, now I can't shoot up, which is an issue. Ah, but Nod can deal with the enemies. Yeah, I'll happily let Nod deal with all those guys. That seems fair to me. Build some anti-air, just in case. And is it worth building a rig? I'm not too bothered about ground forces, to be honest. Seems that I need to be more worried about anything else jumping at me. I've got some zone troopers that I started off with, so that's nice. Killing that mastermind is going to be pretty much a priority. Build you and then build you. I can get an ion cannon up now. I think some firehawk jets are going to be needed. See, Nod is over there. They're not doing anything right now, but they are just Building. ominously staying over there. As far as I care, as long as they stay over there, that's fine. Build me an airfield, guys. Upgrade my power plants with what I can. I'm absolutely sure that units can be lifted across the chasm. Right now, I'm focusing on just building up my air defense units. I'm going to need to cross the chasm at some point because I'm going to run out of Tiberium. I need access to this blue Tiberium here. When I've got access to the blue Tiberium, I will be fine. Can I now build a Juggernaut? I can! Excellent. Let's see if a Juggernaut can fire far enough to shoot these guys. If it can, that'll be just splendid and tremendous. And if I use my tech center to research the Stratifighter upgrade, I can just teleport my Firehawks in wherever I need them. Ah, there's Tiberium over here as well, so that's nice. There's at least two Tiberium things that I've got. Let's see how far away this Juggernaut can shoot from, shall we? How far away can this Juggernaut shoot? Let's find out. Pretty damn far! to be honest. There's a load of Nod units over there. I may as well just build another Juggernaut. And then possibly put down an Ion Cannon link. Ion Cannon will have no effect on the alien tower until the phase generators are destroyed. That's fine. I'm not expecting it to. Well that's lovely. We just pretty much blew up their tank the moment it came in. And the Juggernaut is doing something, at least. I know you're not the world's most accurate thing, but two of you might be. Here we go, and it's taking some serious time to build anything. If I can get the Juggernauts to blow up the enemy... I wouldn't say anti-air, just things... If I use control and just tell them to attack, will they shoot randomly into the zone? Yeah, they will. Excellent. Beautiful. So I can actually just tell them to shoot randomly toward here and see what it hits. That works just as well, I suppose. Build another one. Why not? And I've finally got four of those fighter jets. The phase generators are still active. And the place. Brilliant. They can now shoot to here. Can they shoot this far? That's the question. If I order them to shoot that area there, will they be able to hit it? I doubt it. I unfortunately do doubt it. The Iron Cannon's only got a few minutes left until it will be up and running. Five minutes exactly, actually. I'm sure the alien units have. However, I've got loads of defense. Let's see what happens if I fly my Firehawks over here. 
and tell them to shoot at this thing just here. Excellent. All Firehawks, please return to the base. There doesn't seem to be that many enemies over here. In fact, this is a pretty easily defendable area. That seems like it would be great, to be honest. Just to fix you, build another anti-air. So I need a troop transport. You guys can't call for transport. However, an MCV can. Juggernaut, please go over here. What I need to do now is get all these Firehawks over here, blowing everything up. You know what I might take over there instead of taking... Instead of assaulting, I might take engineers. To me, taking engineers seems like a better idea. They have a rift generator, do they? Where's that? Oh, just there. What does a rift generator do? Oh, it's a super weapon! Yeah, let's not let them do that. I would very much like them to not. Aliens, can you not? You guys come over here. You know what I haven't got is a barracks. Let's build four more fighters. Juggernauts, can you shoot at the Nod enemies over there? And I need an MCV. My Juggernauts can now shoot at the Nod enemies over here. I mean, I appreciate Nod standing there and just taking the damage. Nice guys. Yeah, we are going to need more Tiberium, mate. It's fine, we've got some more up here to start off with. And then we're going to be able to jump over here and get this blue stuff, okay? Don't you worry, my friend. Don't you worry. Shadow fighters or fireballs, can you land, please? Let's see what happens if we march these juggernauts this way. Can we see any more Nod enemies? Well, let's just leave them there just in case. You actually head back over here because I want you to be healed within this healing aura. I need an MCV. Where are the enemy units sighted? Oh, interesting. Okay. You guys can't shoot up. Good. Get you guys to walk back here. Yes, I'm sure the Rift Generator will be online soon. Would you guys please go and attack these enemies? Brilliant. And now go back to base. Oh, there's one of whatever you are. What do you do? Planetary Assault Carrier. I don't know the idea that it's probably carrying something. Juggernaut, you should be fixed by now. Two Juggernauts. Is one been blown up? That's a shame. I suppose I could always make a barracks. Okay, Strato Fighters. Down here we go. We're going to bomb this Rift Generator and see what happens. I suppose I could just ion cannon the rift generator. Yeah, let's just shoot this and see what happens, shall we? Okay, I forgot to put their ground... <laughs> I forgot to put the bombs on, so we lost a couple. My bad, everybody. Give me some engineers, please. Ah, it seems Nod is popping over here. For a little, a little talk. So I'll ion cannon their rift generator in a second. Insufficient funds. Harvester under attack. How is my harvester being attacked? Ah, it must Let's be over here. Take both the juggernauts over here. See what's going on. Ion cannon's ready, is it? Beautiful. Let's see how well this goes. Should blow up some not avatars as well. 
Oh, come on! Can't believe the rift generator survived that. That's insane. Can the juggernaut please shoot that from here? Also, can all of these guys put on ground pounder bombs, fly down here and blow up the rift generator? Because I'm not accepting the rift generator being destroyed. A bit of splash damage, that'd be lovely. Fix you. Engineers, please call for transport. And once you have called for transport, I require you over here. The phase generators are still active. You guys need to blow this up. Where is my You can count on us. Now my MCV, I need you to drop something off soon. Actually, you know what? Build a sonic emitter. Let's capture that and see if I can build near it. As soon as the sonic emitter is built and ready to go. I like the fact that I can just about hit those guys. Transport, what do you need? Construction complete. I'll build that there, we can hit them. Excellent, there we go. Now these transports have all got engineers in them, and I'm building another sonic emitter. And then a barracks. Because the plan is to drop the engineers off over here, capture these alien buildings, and then pretty much instantly put. Construction complete. Enemy drop base sighted. Zone. Instantly put my things near them. I got all I need. Commander? It's all ready. Get in there. Build, build, build. And fix. Come on, get fixed. Build me some more stuff. Come on. I need you to build me some more stuff. That did not work as well as I thought it would. Gonna be honest, that was not the world's greatest plan. Sell that before it gets fully destroyed. Okay, that was not ideal. Uh, I can jump jet these guys across here though, so the zone troopers should be able to do something to them. And tell them to attack move this way. Zone troopers might be able to take out the elite flamer squads. Let's see how well it goes, shall we? Zone troopers are... Nope, they get wrecked by elite flamer squads. Okay. They get absolutely annihilated by them. Running very low on Tiberium. Need to expand over here. Can't expand over here till I've cleared out these guys. Fix you... What else do I need? Ah, I've got some jets. Fair enough, the Firehawks will work. Bomb these guys using Firehawks. And then return to base. If I can get all the Nod together, I can just use the Iron Cannon Blast on them and move over here. That seems like it would work. Ideally, I need to get an MCV. It's not the MCV I need, is it? It's the Surveyor, because the Surveyor can call for transport. The MCV can't. I suppose I can unpack the MCV and then sell it. That might work. Because I don't particularly need it right now. Unpack and then sell seems the best thing to do. And drop a sharpshooter team in somewhere.
I'll wait until I've cleared out these guys. Got one minute left remaining until I can stop them. Getting to this blue Tiberium has to be my next main objective. That's the thing I need to do. Where have I lost a unit? I lost another harvester. Okay. So I can see there's not that many Nod people here, to be fair. Let's Orca strike these guys and see what happens. Shall we? Ha! Okay. Okay, this isn't that bad. This is okay. I seem to be surviving this. Have I got my little reclaimer vehicle yet? My little reclaimer vehicle ready. Uh, he's built by the construction yard, isn't he? Which means he'd be just there. Beautiful. Call for transport, please, darling. I know that our base is under attack. So we'll switch you guys to air to air. Let's tell you to blow him up. Whoa, don't you die. I need you. You're essential. Don't you die. You are extremely important. Come on. Oh, you've got to wait for your... It takes ages for you to actually unpack, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Turn to base, please. Okay, as a got these guys here, I suppose. How is our base under attack? Okay, no, we seem fine. Enemy stealth unit discovered. That's over there. I can defend this area relatively easily. Beautiful. We have some defense going on. Now if I were to build a war factory, possibly a sonic emitter. In fact, forget war factory, give me a barracks, I want some engineers capturing these things. Whatever they are, I want to own them. Construction complete. The phase generators are still active. Training. The generators are doing something. The iron cannon's ready to fire, so one generator can be sorted out. I don't know if an iron cannon strike will destroy a generator, but I guess we'll find out. Does it destroy a generator? Oh, it completely wipes the floor with it. Beautiful. Engineers, please go and capture the following. It's a sonic emitter, is it? As soon as you're captured, build you, and then some NCA. Harvester under attack. detected. Ah, okay, they've got quite a few things over here, have they? Really? Do I have anything? I suppose I could take my... an anti-air gun. Let's build some anti... anti-whatever. Anti-everything right now. I think the Nod probably attack me because I've built, well I've destroyed the first generator. Let's drop in some stuff. Hey, would you look at that? We've now got the first load of enemies moving in to attack me. Here's Nod. Can you guys call for transport please? And you guys as well. I need you guys producing Oh, if only I had the iron cannon, I would absolutely fire it right now. I'm going to need some serious defense to make this work, aren't I? Maybe Nod's base needs to be blown up first. I could just hang back and defend and use the iron cannon. All I've got to do then is survive for like 20 minutes. Hang back and build defensive structures to survive. Destroy the mastermind, and then I don't, I don't need to expand. I just need to wait. You know what? Why don't I just drop these guys down here and wait? Just to see what happens, you know? Let's 
sell that because you can't fight back. And you're over here. How long do I have to survive here for? And can I is the question. Can I survive? Let's turn off the power to the war factory for the time being. And that. Build another power plant. I'm only running off one power plant, is it? Okay, the iron cannon's charging back up now. Cool. Now, I'm fully aware that Nod can jump over here. But if I were to just build up and up and up and up and up and wait, does that Tiberium regrow? If that Tiberium regrows even slowly, I can just wait it out, you know? Just to see what happens. Put you guys back online and see what happens. Build some missile squads. And then put the missile squads into some APCs. Thank you, missile squad. You know what I want you to do? I want you to get inside an APC. You get inside that one. We're just going to hang around and see what happens if we wait until the ion cannons charging up. And two more. One and then two, and then a big iron cannon blast over there. Question is, can I survive until the iron cannon blast? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Because Nod don't seem to be making the jump. They are only sending air things to attack me. Everything else seems to just be. Let's equip you guys with ground pounder bombs. Not too bothered about anti air. You guys can hang around here for anti air. This juggernaut, I want to shoot over here. Because I know for a fact Nod are chilling on this eastern ridge. What I'm going to do is just, just hang out until my iron cannon's there, hunker down, spend some time waiting, relaxing, chilling. Let's uh, fire randomly over there, see what happens. Ah, there we go. Can see him now. Beautiful. Just come into my sight line. Ace! Not a loop. See, it looks like this harvester is trying as hard as it can to get all this Tiberium. Maybe I should build some more missile squads. You can keep shooting over here, mate, because you're just going to keep blowing up all these not avatars. And I've got three minutes remaining to wait until the iron cannon is charged. Then I'll blow up one more of their rally points, and then that rally point. I know that the point of this mission was probably to use the core for transport, jump over. I tried, didn't I? I tried to jump over here, build a little secondary kind of expansion base. But Nod overpowered me. Pushed back. See if we can blow up these things here. Yes, we can. And, oh, you guys are blowing that up. You're blowing up all my power plants because you know that that's charging up my ion cannon. That's pretty clever. They're prioritizing the power plants because they know it's destroying the ion cannons. Let's put the power plants down here. So they have to pretty much fly over everything to get there. We stick the power plants down here, we should be fine, shouldn't we? What is that? Oh, advanced turbines, which is ready, I see. Rifleman squad, you're not necessarily needed. You can be fixed. In fact, everything can be fixed, to be fair. Uh, war factory, just over here. Might even build another anti-air battery. Or pass me another APC. What's good against strong versus aircraft? Pitbull, you're strong versus aircraft. I'll build you. 
I know, the last of the Tiberiums coming in. And we are sitting here, the last bastion of humanity. Proudly, proudly waiting for our turn to fire the ion cannon again. I'm hoping that this tactic works. If this tactic doesn't work, oh my god, seriously. Okay, I need some missile squads over here, like stat. You guys need to hang over here so you can shoot things down before they get there. And ideally, I want some anti-aircraft batteries. Building. I'm going to build some and see what happens. I don't think I'm going to have anywhere near enough money from every Tiberium kind of haul, if you will. But I suppose we can build them and see what happens. What's the worst that's going to happen? Pitbulls can hang over here. Hey, there we go. We actually managed to blow something up for a change. Brilliant. Is that Nod or Scrin? I think that's Nod. Alright, we're going to find out soon, aren't we? Hey, there we go. The uh... Wow, the Juggernaut has managed to become fully leveled up because of how awesome it is. The Pit Bulls should be getting some levels on them soon. I'm going to build another anti-aircraft battery because it seems to be all we ever need. The Ion Cannon is ready to fire again. So let's see what happens with the Ion Cannon. I'm going to shoot at this one this time. That's it. Circle round. Come on. One shot, one kill, please. Yes. Blown up. Question now is are they going to retaliate? Because it seems to be whenever you do something major in any mission, the enemy always retaliates. And I'm, I'm expecting a screen retaliation. I'm fully ready for a lot of airships to come and attack me. I think that might be their plan. In that case, I'm going to switch my missile loadouts on my fighter pilots. You know what I can do is I can get these guys to land in one airfield and sell the other airfield. I'm not using it. I can use the sold airfield to build Another anti-aircraft battery. Seems like it might be more use, to be honest. Now the pit bulls are both repaired. Move them back over here again. I'll move one pit bull round here. Can I spot any nod? Are there any nod enemies over here at all? No, that area seems clear. You know what, I bet that area we could pop over there, gather up loads of Tiberium. I bet we could. Can you call for transport? with a harvester. No, you can't. That's a shame. You can't even do it with an MCV. That's really annoying. There's no point in me building anything over here. All I have to do is survive for the next 10 minutes and I should be fine. So how are you guys on YouTube doing? You having a good time? I say YouTube, I'm assuming YouTube is the video sharing site I'm going to be uploading this to. With the current changes, who knows how that whole thing is going to turn out. How are you guys on the internet doing? I say the internet, so I'm pretty sure that's still going to be a thing. As a pit bull, you need to go away and return to base. You guys as APCs need to come over here. Uh, Pitbull with no health needs to go back. Where's that juggernaut? There it is. You can keep shooting these tanks. I love how Nod keeps throwing themselves at me willingly. They are... They're loving it, aren't they? Look at them. If it was up to me, I'd send a little kind of reclaimer vehicle over there to gain all this Tiberium, but I don't think we're going to have enough time, enough reasons, to be honest, to do that. What else are we going to need? I could engineer Rush Nod. Wow, look at their base. Okay, that's badass. That's pretty cool. Two hands of Nods. They've got some, some of the obelisks going on. All the little things right here. Now, those things seem to be firing, which makes me think they're being attacked by the Skrin. I like the fact 
that even though I'm not involved in that fight, it's still happening. It makes the world feel more real. It makes the world feel, you know, like it's actually a war going on. I'm just not involved with it. We'll switch to... I'm not sure what I want to switch to, actually. I'll leave those guys on air-to-air -air for the time being. And my juggernaut can stay here until enemies walk into range. And then he can blow them up with one shot. Three minutes remaining until I can fire the second to last ion cannon blast at this thing here, and then we can blow up the massive Scrin Tower. Which I still think is awesome. That is such a cool piece of artwork. I like it. Oh, look at all the towers I've got around them. There's no way you could ground assault that. I mean, I'm sure you could with enough mammoth tanks, but I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it at all. 2,500, so we are still gathering Tiberium, just real slowly. Real, real slowly. I wonder what else I could have built. I suppose I could build a huge defensive structure over here, but I don't need to. I've got this brilliant Tiberium ridge all around here that's preventing anything from getting near me. And all I've got to do is just hang out. I mean, I could even spend some ties and... Get these guys to dig in in certain dig formations, in. couldn't I? Our base, yes, Our base is under attack, is it? You know what? Why don't I build some more missile guys? Training. See what they can do. And then maybe even another anti air battery. Just to throw some more anti air. Maybe even another power plant. Just to make absolutely sure. But I can't get power plant rushed. And the base is under attack, you know? Build another power plant, but build it at the back over here. So, hopefully, it's going to be pretty safe from any attacks. More missile troops, send them over. No point moving the construction yard. You, as a juggernaut, are my favourite troop ever. You are going to get such a promotion. If I were to say hold ground, you just stand there and shoot over there, mate. You do that. You do your thing. You guys go and chill in that bunker with them. Just chillax in that bunker. Got enough anti-air to survive. They are throwing their attacks at me, aren't they? Definitely seems to me one of the best things to do. Well, one of the best things to do would be to build a rig, unpack it into a battle base, and then have a load of APCs and anti-air and a crowd around it. I could even send this pit bull over here to do that exact job. And if I could build a juggernaut, I would do. Just under 30 seconds until we can fire the iron cannon again. This is now a war of attrition. Thankfully, the attrition is on my side, because I can just hang out here. If you were watching this video for a guide on how to do this mission, full disclosure, I've never done this mission before, so I don't know how you're meant to do it. I think what will likely happen is... very soon I will blow up the third and final... Third and final screen shield, this thing here. After this is blown up, all we have to do is wait seven minutes, and then we're good to go. Are the screen going to send a huge attack force at me? We have destroyed the alien phase generators. What is that? Wormhole? Ah, oh, that must be how they build things. Alien devastators are headed for our base. Of course they are. Why would they not be? Isn't it strange how the moment that we say, okay, we're ready now, we're pretty much ready and good to go, suddenly we've now got to worry. All we have to do is survive. All we have to do is survive for six minutes until I can fire one final thing. The Devastators, I'm sure... I think the Devastators are those tripod walker things. Question is, how close will they get? 
dig these guys in, shall we? You can dig in. All I need to do is defend the ion cannon. If I can defend the ion cannon for just over the next five minutes, I should be alright. And you know what? With Nod hanging around the edge of my base, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe the enemy devastators are going to be distracted fighting Nod, and they'll leave me alone. Yeah, that'd be perfect. That would be absolutely perfect. If that happened. We can hope. Now, if they were sending Devastators, are the Devastators the ships? If they are the warships, we are in trouble. It's very unlikely I can take down the warships. Training. Let me stick a missile squad inside this APC. These APCs both have missile squads inside them already. There's another pit bull. Just under five minutes until we are good to go. These guys can change to bomb loadouts and bomb anything we need them to. So I can still see these Nod avatars over here, but they're not worrying me. They can't get to me. If anything, they are now my outer base defences. If the Skrin attack from the north, Nod have pretty much got me covered. If the Skrin attack from this side, Nod are probably going to cover me as well. I think they've got a base down here somewhere. The biggest issue... Here they are. Okay, guys, let's do this. Here they are. Let's attack, first of all, that ship. And then send it over there. Are they going to focus on the ion cannon? You know what? No, I thought they would do. I honestly thought they would. Was that it? Just one ship? There's no way they just sent one ship at me. Build another anti-aircraft battery just in case. Okay, everyone moves over here apart from you who stays there. The frequency of these attacks seems to be increasing slightly. Give me another anti aircraft battery over here, please. Well, I survived that single warship using just the two Tiberian fields that I was meant to have. Come on, you beautiful ion cannon control center. Just under three and a half minutes to charge up, and then a final blast. This mission was much easier than I thought it would be, if this is the way you do it. A lot of th a lot can happen in three minutes in Command and Conquer. There's many other... Ooh, I'm being attacked. There's many other things that could have happened. Was something blown up? Apparently not. You can be fixed. Ready when you are. Send a couple of you guys over here. And you. Come over here. Now there are the Nod avatars. I'm not sure if they can hit me from where I currently am. I don't think they can. No, don't build another anti-aircraft battery. Build me an APC, because I can stick some rocket guys in it. Oh, more screen. That's, ah, that's the Devastator, okay. So the Devastator warships are those big, powerful things. Two minutes remain to survive. Survive for two minutes and we're good to go. Stick some leveled up pit bulls over here. You guys, as far as units go, can't do anything, so you may as well get inside this bunker I've built. APC, head over here, need a missile squad, get into the APC. You guys are my anti-air. Apart from this one beautiful juggernaut that's pretty much my anti-everything else. One and a half minutes remain until I can fire. Damn. Okay. Can they hit that from there? If not, switch you to air to air and send in the firehawks. This is why I wanted the firehawks on. Yes, the firehawks can blow it up. Beautiful. Just over a minute remains. Let's send this over here and stick him on aggressive stance and see what he does. Just sit there for the time being, Juggernaut, and blow up all the avatars over there. Let's just watch this glorious battle. Look at that. 
Give me another APC. Nod, you're not the sharpest tool in the shed. If you're sending your avatars just to hang out around there for a bit. And my guy is wrecking you. Just over half a minute. This seems to be the way you do this. You pretty much just turtle over here. Build up all your defences. Don't even attempt to leave. It's more trouble than it's worth. And after you have turtled, you ion cannon. 15 seconds. Definitely not the way I was meant to do it, but if it's stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid. I thought this mission would take me longer. Ion cannon super weapon over here. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's awesome. Has it still got health? It's it's still got health. What? You serious? Are you actually being serious? It's not dead yet. Fine, I'll send an orca blast in there and see what happens. Let's see if these orcas can survive. Stealth unit detected. Enemy base sighted. Unit under attack. Let's just send in my uh, my firehawks. I'm pretty sure I've got the ability to warp. Warp them over here. And tell them to attack this. Oh, no, apparently they can't attack the tower. The tower can only be attacked by the ion cannon. And the ion cannon requires two blasts before it's fully destroyed. We are hanging out for another six minutes then. Although we've got a lovely view of the battlefield. That's actually not as well defended as I thought it would be. Well, I honestly thought that would be us done. And I was wrong. Blow you up. Leave you guys down here. I was wrong. Happens occasionally. Uh, looks like we need another anti-air gun down here. And to hang out another five minutes. It's not a problem. I could be playing a worse game. I'm thinking after I finish well, after I finish the GDI campaign, I'm obviously going to finish the Nod campaign. But after I finish the entire game, I've kind of had my eye on Bioshock for a while. Bioshock 1, 2, and 3. Because I've never played 2 or 3. But 1 is one of my favourite old games. So I'm thinking possibly a little bit of Bioshock. Just see what's happening with that. 4 minutes and 50 seconds until the next Ion Cannon Blast is ready. How much health does this have? Does it recover health? Apparently not. I honestly thought the one ion cannon blast would take it out, but uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. If the Skrin had their mastermind over here alive still and he kept teleporting units over, I can see how this might be a lot harder if I was having to deal with ground attacks as well. But I'm pretty much only having to deal with aerial attacks. It's the only real problem that I'm having right now. And I've got more than enough money coming in, even from this, you know, one harvester left. So just hang here. I'm so glad they're not repairing the tower, because if they were repairing the tower, I'd be in serious trouble. I'm very glad they're not. I don't think you can build a second ion cannon control center. No, you can't. What else is necessary? I've got this juggernaut ripping the ground forces apart. They're not even coming over here. And I've got enough anti-air to just hang around. So yes, Bioshock is the next plan after this. In fact, I've had a lovely invite from another awesome YouTuber who has said if I ever want to play the co-op campaign of Red Alert 3, with them I can do. It's a really kind, really nice invite, so definitely it would be really cool to have a little kind of co-op play going on together. Uh, I also, as a hobby, I make board games. It's a little hobby of mine, it's not really a big you know, money-making thing, it's just something I do as a, as a passion, and I really want to make a board game based in the Command & Conquer universe, a GDI versus not. 
I think it'd be great fun to have like a little tactical map and moving your pieces around and playing certain cards like you know the Iron Cannon card or the just drop the sniper team here card or the Orca Assault card. I think it'd be really cool to have a tactical minis based kind of skirmish battle set in the Command and Conquer universe. Sort of a combination of Warhammer style miniatures and battle combined with like Magic the Gathering almost style card play because they're two of my favourite games with the flavour of GDI versus Nod possibly with some screen units thrown in. I really like I really like every game that's based on a certain flavour and I think the Command and Conquer universe the whole Kane ideology is a beautiful real kind of deep deep lore to dig into and make something from. So I might start doing that. I also as well as these video game videos I run a daily vlog. I'm actually filming for the daily vlog right now. I've got my actual camera over there filming me while I talk to the webcam for this. And I'll include in the daily vlog how the board game goes. But for this mission specifically, if you've only logged in to see how you do this mission, I think you do this mission by literally just waiting for your ion cannon to charge up. So yeah. Ah, the harvester is nearly dead, so maybe you can just chill there for a sec. Or at least be fixed. Once you've dropped off the Tiberium Harvester, can you please go and be fixed? Once you are fixed, you can return to work, but until you are fixed, I don't want to risk you being in work. Ah! Constant nod assault. Can't nod understand that we're on the same team now? Like, seriously, can nod just not get it? There's a massive, huge alien structure over there, and you're still bombing me. And yeah, I admire the fact that you're not giving up on your ideals, but I still think it's idiotic. Well, we've got one airfield remaining and no ships. And just over 40 seconds until I can fire what I hope will be the last ion cannon blast. Let's hope it is. If this isn't the last ion cannon blast, I'm going to have to work out some way of you know, bombing it with the meagre resources that I've got. 20 seconds. Ah, I wonder what mission we're going to do after this one. Because we've blown up one of their towers. Are we going to take the fight to them, maybe? I hope so. That'd be cool. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how the Command & Conquer style board game goes. And here we go! Let's fire the super weapon. Beautiful. Show me that victory screen. That'll do. First try. 51 minutes. Good lord, this is going to be a long video. All the primaries done. All the, all the bonus ones done. Nice. And I got all the intel. I didn't even try. Seems the next mission is called Ground Zero. Assault on the Alien Control Node. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching so much. I will see you in the next video. Take care.